A part of America's tapestry that you've likely never heard of, Black American Sign Language. It's a unique form of sign language that's drawn new attention as the nation's so-called racial reckoning sheds light on how deaf Black Americans communicate in a language that's all their own. ABC's Kira Phillips has this story. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. From the footsteps of Martin Luther King Jr. at the Lincoln Memorial. And so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. To the fingertips of J.C. Smith. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. You are witnessing the black deaf dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. In a language. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. In a moment. I have a dream that one day even in the state of Mississippi. Empowered by these significant justice. signs of justice. our time. From every mountainside let freedom ring. And it's been a long time coming. How did the speech inspire you? Well, the speech inspired me um, as a black deaf man uh, living in this world, knowing that opportunities may not be granted to me. And every day I knew that I had to work three or four times harder to really get those opportunities that I wanted. And not only would J.C. Smith get what he wanted, he would become a part of a movement to celebrate and preserve a language born out of oppression and segregation. Why is preserving Black American Sign Language so important to you now? Because it's our language. It's, it's our gestures. It's, it's our vibes. It's how we communicate, how are we able to talk. Signing Black. I'm down with that. Oh, you are big. Much like black history, black American sign language grew from the roots of racism. Ain't no power like the power of the people. And when this country witnessed the recent racial reckoning, young black signers took to social media to highlight the history of a language that has been suppressed for decades. The first American school for the deaf opened in 1817, but black children were not allowed, so they had to create their own schools and their own way of communicating. Communicating. Dr. Carolyn McCaskill is a professor at Gallaudet, the prestigious university for the deaf in Washington, D.C. At the age of five, her only option for learning how to communicate was at the Alabama School for the Negro, Deaf, and Blind. When you learned Black American Sign Language, was that freedom for you? I did get that sense of freedom from being able to incorporate who I was and how I wanted to communicate. But that freedom forged another challenge, integration. Black and white deaf students were finally sharing classrooms, but not a common language. Black American Sign Language was different from American Sign Language. In order to survive, Carolyn had to learn the white way. I remember you telling me white is right. Yep, white is right. That's what I thought, that that was what was prevalent. That was the thinking. So I learned that. I learned how to sign that way. And I actually put to the side the way I knew to communicate, to sign. And my friends, my black friends would say, you're signing different, Carolyn. And I, you know, you're signing like you're white. And I remember not liking that. I wanted to keep my way, my black way of communicating, the way I would sign. And she did, voted most ambitious. This honor student conquered communication through code switching. So when I was with white people, I would sign that way. And then when I was with black deaf people, I would communicate a different way. How did that feel? Oh, that felt so free to me. It felt good to just communicate. You know, that was who I was. That was my culture. That was my identity. A life, language, and labor of love, all part of Dr. McCaskill's new book and her new role as founding director of Gallaudet's first ever Center for Black Deaf Studies. Let's have some fun. Show me some signs in ASL and BASL. So this would be an ASL. 
I would say stop playing. Stop playing. In B, ASL. I would sign it this Are way. you tripping? <laughs> Are you tripping? I love that. Her protege, football star, and black student union leader, J.C. Smith, by her side. Show me some of your favorite signs in B-A-S-L, okay? You can say, that's nice. Nice car. But we, we probably don't think, ooh, tight. Ooh, that thing tight. It's more flavor. Okay. Oh, a little salt on there. A little salt. <laughs> it's a culture I was taught to respect decades ago when my grandfather rejected segregation in the 1940s as dean of the Michigan School for the Deaf, also inspiring my mom to prepare teachers of the deaf and become a fierce advocate for equal rights. I wanted to make sure that the deaf black kids in my class were treated the same as the white kids and given the same opportunities. And then later on I became a professor at the university and I was preparing teachers and I wanted my students to have the same sort of uh, feeling about equity and uh, equality and um, treating people with respect. When we allow freedom to ring. Equality, J.C. Smith dreamed of. Every state and every city. Equality, Dr. Carolyn McCaskill created. Part of it is to preserve the history and the language and the culture of our people and the black deaf experience. Hands that speak volumes. Free at last, free at last. Thank God almighty, I'm free at last such a rich history there are thanks to Kira for that hi everyone George Stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching